I mean, yeah, I think uh, at the end of the day, you want to balance it out, but um, you're not going to win games in the playoffs giving up that many goals and giving up chances like that. So I think for us, it's just tightening up defensively and we know we're going to score and shows um, just in the way we play. It's just making sure that we take care of the defensive side first because it's not exactly fun games when it's a complete shootout like that. Um, going up the, I mean, our last three or four games there have been what, like six, five, seven, five and stuff like that. So um, not exactly super fun games to play in, but um, defensively we, we need to be sharper and we know that. So we'll, we'll tighten it up. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit of an interesting one. Not, not uh, normal there just because it's a three, two breakout. So if I, uh, Turn that one over or something that we're pretty out, man, just with three guys kind of flat footed. So, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, I was, I just saw them flat footed and tried to go to the net. So, yeah, obviously, we want to be good on the special team side of things, um, moving the puck well, uh, fast, and then, um, obviously, uh, creating opportunities where the other team has to take penalties is, is the best. So it gives us the opportunity to be creative on the power play and then uh, tightening up the penalty kill as well. So, you know, it's good. Yeah, obviously very important because they, they put five on us there. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's not ideal to give up that many goals, but when, when you're scoring like we are, um, it at least evens out, but it's definitely something that we need to, uh, improve on um, continuing on the stretch towards Christmas, that's for sure. Yeah, he's very, um, never looks like he's uh, frantic or anything. So um, it's awesome to see him back there. He's, it seems like he's always got a smile on his face, always into the game. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to get a, another goal in, hopefully get some fresh goalies uh, off the injury train here soon, but yeah. Yeah, a nice little touch uh, behind that. I think actually the guys were joking Miko because they when they dumped that down, he he tipped that in the air too. So Miko should be getting a nice nice apple, um, second apple for that one as well after he uses. Whatever uh, upper body injury that would cost you for the year, do you feel like you're on the other side of that now? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, uh, it, it's just sometimes stuff can be nagging, and at the end of the day, I have to do what's right for personal health, and then. Um, it's it's unfortunate, obviously. I don't want to be out. It's it's not the player that I want to be. But um, at the end of the day, I need to make sure that I can go out there and contribute at 100% and make sure that uh, I'm feeling that way every single night. So, yeah. When you face a team that's changed the coach, do you know what to expect? Or do you kind of ignore it and kind of play your game? Or is it kind of you guys, whatever, whatever, still make kind of you know, the same, same way? Yeah, obviously, they are uh, they were on a back-to-back here. So, um, and then the coaching change happens. So, you know, they're going to come out uh, strong, physical, um, show in the first ten, five, 10 minutes that they're, they're here to play. So I think we kind of weathered that a little bit, started strong. And then um, obviously they pushed back and then it just kind of continued to be a shootout. But um, obviously, you know, they're going to come out strong anytime they uh, have a little bit of a coaching change there. What did you, what did you, uh, what have you thought of Nate the last two games in particular? Because it seemed like he's kind of back Pardon? Nate. You say rounding back, rounding back and yeah. forth. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, I think he's uh, starting to get his legs back, obviously. Uh, even in Ottawa, um, just watching that one, he, he looked like he was starting to get, to get those gallops back. And that's kind of when you know Nate's, Nate's going. And um, especially when he's using his shot, too. Obviously, he's got such a, such a lethal shot. And um, we just got to get it to him and make sure that um, we're using his strengths. That's for sure. You mentioned that the sight of was staying in, kind of in tune with your body, making sure you can compete at 100%. That's something you work with the coaches and training staff on saying, if I miss a game here, I'd rather miss one game here than five games down the road if I don't let this heal up. No, not necessarily. I think for me, um, just things that little things that pop up here and there, it's not so much of a, um, like kind of day off game, like maintenance day or anything like that. It's more just like I need to actually, this is a more serious thing. So um, obviously, like I said, stay on top of it, but uh, at the same time, I want to be playing. It's just uh, make sure I do it right every night. Kelly, you've got six points now. Uh, it's points in three. That's kind of going to knock you if you make three, four, five. Now. Yeah, I mean, um, as, a, as a team, um, we want to finish out this road trip. Would we be like three, one, and one then? Um, so um, 
yeah, that's, that's our goal. That'd be a, that'd be a good, uh, good trip accomplished. And then we can focus on, uh, focus on the next games there. Thank you. Thank you. Good, how are you guys? Sure. You guys pull it out, but it's another game that you allow a lot of, a lot of goals. You're obviously scoring a lot, but uh, you need to tighten up. Yeah, I've been saying that for the whole season. Uh, particular these last two games, though. No, I don't. I don't know that they're that much different than stretches we've already had. What did you think of Eustace's first game? He's okay. He's okay. Yeah, I thought he got better as the game went on for sure. You know, started making some saves, looking a little bit more confident. But, um, you know, like Mike said, got to be better defensively. Doesn't matter who's in that. You know, we talked a little bit this morning about knowing that they're going to come out with some fire. The game seemed a little flat there to start, but once they scored, you guys really seemed to push. Was there anything set on the bench, or was it just kind of was that goal kind of like a wake up call that we got to get engaged in this game? Well, I think all the good there, there, there was some good chatter on the bench. I mean, I like their our energy coming, you know, out of the room and had the feeling that we'd be good tonight and. And we were in some areas of the game for sure. You know, it's a it's it's a big win for us, and got a lot of different contributions on the offensive side of it. And you know, it was good to get used to a win. I think it, you know, all in all, we'll take the two points. But certainly, areas of our game we got to get better. Kill, kill the cargos in and top shelf. Yeah. What what kind of players does that remind you of? Uh, <laughs> to play like that. Paul Coffey. That'd be the closest one for me. That's who I watched growing up. Loved him as a player, and he's very similar in a lot of different ways. Thoughts in general about that player? Well, I mean, uh, we were going to the drop on the breakout. I thought, you know, they did a good job stuffing us a few times, and then their entry decisions got better. There was there was some options there. We executed better, and on this particular, then they make the decision to go underneath it. I just think it's a it's a real good read by a real good player. It makes the read to, to you know, just jump by him and knows he's got the, you know, the D kind of guessing and flat-footed, and he just, you know, had a change of speed there that, you know, it's tough to defend against, and he ends up driving all the way in and makes a great play to finish it. So, I mean, it's an elite play, no question. We need it at that point in the game. I don't know what your guys, like, scoring chance numbers say, but have you seen the top line of Lance Gagic and the Rankin line pick up more?